extra, extra, read all about it. Scorpio, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an energy, just making sure the girls stay in, Scorpio, I know. Um, this is an energy reading. It is not a horoscope, so it's an intuitive reading, meaning it's for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Scorpio influences your natal chart or wherever Scorpio energy influences your life. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this video is for you. Pull up a chair. I upload a new Scorpio-specific video every single week, and it always comes with an extended reading. So the energies and themes we pick up here energetically um, are going to be specified, personalized, and we're going to extrapo extrapolate a lot more specific information in the full tarot card spread that I pull in the extended. And that extended link is right below. You can also subscribe to me directly over on Vimeo as well. Now, um, there is a romance reading every single week and that comes in with the, um, in with the extended reading, it comes at the end of it. But now I'm gonna like pull a card, a romance card to sort of uh, get a preview in this video to see um, you know, where the romance, where the romance energy is leading. Uh, beyond that, let's get right into your reading. Scorpio, please do click subscribe if you haven't already. Help the channel grow. And you'll also be able to ring that bell and know when I upload the videos as soon as they're ready. Scorpio energy. You guys wanted to come out. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. This is really interesting energy. Hold on. Um, no, I really want to see if I have a crowning energy for you guys. Crowning your reading. Overcome any obstacle. You feel stuck in something as if there's a change that needs to happen, but it's not coming. Or the circumstance or situation is just something where you need to stay still right now because if you tried to move, things would break. There are, there's really good times, Scorpio, when just being still is what is necessary. There is an ambush predatorial aspect to watching and waiting, but that's not necessarily the energy I'm picking up for you right now. What I'm picking up through this card and this energy is a feeling of just being stuck and stagnant and maybe even, I should go so, so far as to say, bored. Um, this is very earth energy, very Taurus energy. It's stubborn. If you are dealing with somebody who is extremely stubborn or headstrong or this is what you're being, there is a sense of, if this is you, this is a sense of being emotionally defensive Usually when Scorpios get stubborn, it is, is because emotionally they are not ready to move on from something. Something is missing. There are pieces not put together and they may not be able to articulate completely what they need, but they know that they can't move on until they have what they need. And they will literally kill themselves and others around them, not literally, um, in order to finally be able to get what's been lacking. Sometimes this is a real problem because you can never get what you lack. You can never get what is lacking in your life from the same circumstance. And ironically, you need to move on in order to get those needs fulfilled. And that's when we get really stuck is when our stubbornness, our sort of mind or the decisions that we've made have blocked us in and make us think like, like, this is the only place that we can get happy. This is the only place that is, that it's possible. This is the only circumstance or situation or person or job that is possible for us to actually fulfill our dreams or to feel good. That's a sense of stuck, 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 stuck. I wouldn't go as far as to say obsessive because in some ways you're still very much, um, it, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like, you're frustrated and I think that frustration is a, it's a sign that you, you know this isn't the right place for you or that you know you're stuck. The, the issue is, okay, well, so what do I do about it? I don't know if this is your crowning, that's your crowning energy. Let's get into what to do about it. 
bring a gentle touch. So this is a loss of love. This is um, this is a denial of love or impatience. Somebody being um, um, not willing to take the time or not willing to listen. Um, maybe even going to the extent of not being kind. This is Virgo energy, but it doesn't have to be dealing with a Virgo. This is just that earth stubbornness of feeling locked in, feeling trapped, maybe trapped in somebody else's decision-making process, as in they've got their schedule, they've got their expectations. Maybe it's not you that's being obsessive or stubborn. Maybe you're stuck with somebody who is obsessive or stubborn. And honestly, it's like they won't let you go because they've already made the plans two years out with you and they're not listening to how you feel or the discomfort that you feel but that's definitely the energy whether it's you or whether it's them dealing with it this is the energy coming around your life a sense of being so caught up in what you expected to happen that what is happening isn't getting a chance to be because of this energy of no this is the way i want it this is the way that it has to be this is what i planned for and that's it and that's just yeah irritating not you like how do you draw how do you draw a water sign like this is it like may, like being stuck feeling frozen feeling sort of um sort of inconsequential almost like it doesn't really matter what you're thinking or what you feel it's not going to change because you're stuck in somebody else's confines this can also be very capricornian energy of being blocked in by law, legal struggles, um, expectations, societal expectations, blocking you in and not giving you any answers or allowing you to move forward. And certainly basically making you feel more like a number than a human being. It, it is it, at this point with these two extre extremities, two earth sign extremes, both in reverse, this energy could definitely make you feel dehumanized. Uh, then we have slow and steady wins the race. Um, something is rushed. Something is hurried in patience. This is also a sense of emotional manipulation, a sense of somebody draining somebody else and being very needy, maybe using the, the emotions in some way to keep you stuck or being stuck emotionally, not being able to move on. So yes, this could be also very, very um, obsessive, but it's more emotional manipulation. There's a sense of, of, but you owe me this, you're obligated to me. Somebody who who's extremely needy, passive aggressive and codependent. Uh, the abundant universe will provide, this is Taurus energy. There's some really stubborn energy here. Once again, draining your resources, draining even your, draining your resources. And when I say resources, it could be taking your money, honey. Okay, Scorpio, so watch the out for this person because this is somebody that is draining resources, taking finances, living off your finances with these two energies sitting next to each other. Think of the King of Cups and the, thing, like the King of Pentacles sitting next to each other. This is a, somebody who is emotionally manipulative and financially draining and manipulative. Maybe even somebody who would sell drugs for money or do illegal shit for money or somebody that is feeling constrained or feeling stuck. Maybe that's it. Legal trouble, feeling constrained and stuck, having tried to go outside of the law, above the law or break the law in order to get what they need. So if you're dealing with this kind of energy in your life, there is a sense of or not trusting the law, the law itself being what is like crooked. That could also be what you're dealing with. And this is your central energy, but it's Piscean energy upside down, the energy of nine, which means something has to be done. There has to be a step that's taken in order for you to be able to move on because right now there is, it, it's, it's emotional drain. It's just, it's a, it's like a brain, it's like sucking your energy away. Um, this could be a shallow romance. This could be a shallow connection, a connection that was just for physical, practical, financial reasons, um, but somehow it's sticking around and staying around. And this is your central energy. So it's coming from you or happening to you. We already knew that. But this could also indicate a sense of you feeling emotionally drained, like completely um, almost sort of, uh, in other words, in other words, I don't have any love, interest, 
or even compassion for this circumstance or situation. So this would be a sense, in a sense, you being completely and totally belly up done, um, close to your emotions being dead in this circumstance. Uh, could be giving up idealistically, it could be giving up on government, giving up on what you see happening at large, giving up on um, trusting the media or something like that, like that, like a sense of, I don't trust them anymore, I just can't. A sense of feeling like you're attacked by the structures itself. If this is personal, this is a sense of feeling really manipulated and hooked into by somebody close to your life. Like you're just doing things out of obligation now. You're not doing something out of actual passion and love. And it's really interesting because it doesn't seem like this per this energy, the energy coming off of this other entity, the energy affecting or influencing your life, we'll say right now. Um, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like they're completely doing it. Um, it, it feels like they're doing it out of desperation more than, um, uh, malefically, but they are being malefic, um, because they are being intentional, but it's coming out of desperation. And I think it's desperation out of their own fear of having to move on and maybe be alone. Right? They don't want to stand on their own. Uh, sandpiper spirit, be playful. So this is the energy of basically, this is Gemini energy or just or just air energy, um, longing for the shallows, needing to be shallow, almost being saved by thoughts. So basically this is coming in as mind over matter, Scorpio. Also very difficult, but you feel yourself sucked down and being stuck. And you know what, when you're sucked down, when you're down there because you want to be down there, then it's a safe haven for you. You feel good. You feel good in the darkness. You feel good in the cold. You feel safe and you feel protected. But there is a sense here of being oppressed and forced down. And you don't like that feeling at all. And this is a sense of needing relief, needing fresh air, needing to come up and have fun again. Mm, there's also undertones of sexual repression here. FYI. Um, watch your words. This is Gemini energy as well. Also energy of nine. This is a sense of really having combative and screeching, want to claw somebody's eyes out energy, especially when it comes to love. There is a sense of um, feeling played, feeling played and, and somebody um, um, feeling played or, and, and somebody could be, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Not telling you the truth. It's like saying words, like you can tell when they're talking to you that they're not being fucking sincere with what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? You know they're just parroting, parroting. Polly want a cracker. You know, like they're saying what they heard somebody else saying. You know their words aren't real. You know it's not true, and you just want to like, like whip them out of the sky for it because a bunch of BS, right? That's the, that's the that's the sense sense of shut up, shut your mouth. If you all you're gonna do is say the words that other people are putting into your mouth, or say what you think I want to hear, or say the same bullshit that you've been saying the whole time, and it doesn't really it's it's bull it's game. You're gaming me. You're playing me. You're playing me. That's what you're doing. You're talking shit in your playing me. Like I, I, I can't, I can't even listen to it anymore. And love is all around comes. This is definitely Gemini energy. So this says that it is one-on-one -on -one communication and could be having to do with a very personal um, a connection, a personal communication, uh, uh, you know, one-on-one um, -on -one, trying to understand each other, trying to listen to each other. But there is, no, this card, this card, this one card doesn't negate all the cards that came before it. This just lets me say that this is a more personal situation than it is, um, than it is like large scale community going on in the government type of thing. Um, um, it's just, it's, it's one person, it, it's one person in particular. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo, but there is a sense of in, intended manipulation, playing you, playing you. They're using words to play you, just saying what needs to be said. But that's like, dude, I'm, I'm for real. It's like calling up the unemployment office and just getting a recording. Nobody's talking to you. You know, like once again, you're a number, 
You don't feel like a person, like somebody's dehumanizing you. They're just, it's, just, it's just a route recording and you can't actually talk to somebody who you need to talk to. And this could be how somebody in your life is acting right now. Like when you try to talk to them, you just get like a programmed answer instead of them actually speaking from the heart. And there is a sense of feeling like called to the potential outside of the circumstance because you're kind of done dealing with the frustration and ridiculousness within the circumstance. There could be a third party situation, a temptation outside, a temptation outside of this circumstance that you're in, a sense of do I really need to be here because I have other options. Now, if that's being done to you, it could be part of their emotional manipulation of you constantly reminding you that they have other options. You could be dealing with that or internally you could be dealing with, I've got other options. Why do I have to stay? It, to the point where you're thinking of outside options because this is not a circumstance that is feeling home to you anymore. Be fearless and bold. So this is grounding energy. This is Aries energy. Um, this is taking control of the circumstance. This is allowing yourself confident, competence, aggressive, progressive energy. Um, this is a sense of, um, um, but this is your grounding energy. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries so much as you're getting in touch with yourself and trying to now start to put yourself first. Let's get more of the grounding energy, though, because it's not just one card. Be fearless and bold. See, this is what's rising inside of you. There's a fire in your belly, and you're about to erupt and explode because you don't want to, you just don't want to be stuck in the circumstance anymore. Or you want to confront um, somebody who is, you want to confront somebody. Take a leap of faith. Shoot, this is coming out in reverse as well. A sense of staying exactly where you are, maybe going against your own conscience um, or somebody who is going against you. Somebody who is sort of undermining or... Mm, hold on, there's another card that came out. Wait up, hold up. You are never alone. The energy of six as well, grounding your energy. Take a leap of faith and then... Be fearless and bold. See, I feel like this is a, this is a circumstance or a relationship that you're stuck in. And it, I really do. And there's a sense of there's a sense of of once again not wanting to go anywhere for some reason. It's almost like the person that you're with is just they've made a decision to be with you, and they're going to be with you no matter what, even when there's nothing left. Even, even when there's no passion left, it's like, what are we running on? We're running on fumes. We're running on freaking fumes here. Or this doesn't have to be a person. Like I said, it could be a job. It could be a circumstance that you're dealing with. Well, I'm running on fumes here, right? I, I need, I, it's like you want to burst out. You want to burst forward. But there is a sense of, of somebody clinging, somebody holding on, somebody not willing to let go, which is uh, disabling your ability to move on. It's, and it's sort of enabling you, your stuckness. It's not enabling, um, forcing you to stay stuck, forcing you to sort of um I just feel like at some point there's almost a lack of there's a lack of faith in this circumstance it's like it's almost like there's a lack of faith grounding this whole reading is a realization that there is a lack of faith that this relationship or circumstance you're in is actually you anymore there's a lack of faith of you fitting in this relationship anymore when i say relationship let me be very clear because we're going to get into the romantic relationship very specifically over in the extended when i say relationship i mean the circumstance the situation this could be a partnership that you're in you know this could be like i said the situation that you're in calling for your government check calling for your unemployment not knowing where it is there there is just a sense of you the sense of self being dominating and wanting to be seen, but almost not being able to, not being able to move forward because of this circumstance. Like this card is usually beautiful, man. It's usually wonderful energy, grounding you, loving you, taking care of you, making, maybe this is a sense of somebody making you want to stay, but it could also be like the reason why you're not taking off. 
The reason why you're not feeling the happiness you want to feel is because you continue to stay in a, a, a relationship that is stagnated or not really about what it's supposed to be about. Hold up. I'm going to flip the camera so that you can see the cards. So this is a confusing thing right here. And that's, that's this energy here, right here as your grounding energy, take a leap of faith. It's almost like maybe you don't want to go anywhere right now. It's like for some reason you think this is the best thing for you. It's almost like there is a stabilizing force in your life and, and you're just, you're, you're sticking with it for now, but there's this essence of feeling stuck in it. What are you waiting for? What are you hoping for Scorpio? What are you expecting? What do you really want? What's, what's going to make this life feel like your life again? Those are all really good questions. Um, I'm going to go over and answer them in the extended because there's lots to come out. Um, but first, let me pull the first romantic card and see. Scorpio for love. Scorpio for love. Yeah, two cards have come out and they're both backwards, actually. Something that used to be, let me put it this way, something that used to be extremely romantic is now turning into something that is selfish and one-sided. The link below is in the description box. I will see you guys in the extended.